All right, let's talk a little bit about the mechanics uh, behind the, the course that we're uh, going through this uh, semester. Uh, so first off, uh, this is the online slash asynchronous version of the class. Uh, the course numbers uh, will vary depending upon uh, which department you're coming through, but uh, nominally there are 5703-99 something. Uh, the 5703-001 is the in-person version of the class. Uh, this one has a different schedule and different uh, assignments, uh, so the two courses are not uh, interchangeable, so don't expect them uh, to be. I'll be making videos uh, and assignments uh, available incrementally, so once per week or twice per week, uh, new information will, will be posted to Canvas. Uh, and uh, slides, uh, copies of the slides that I'm using will be posted to the main course website. And that is linked from uh, the Canvas syllabus section. The computing environment that we're using uh, is based in Python. We're going to be using Jupyter Hub for this semester. Uh, the provided setup uh, already has all of the key packages uh, installed for you. And also it has a, uh, a data area where the data we're using uh, the code skeletons that we're going to be using as part of the interactive work that we'll be doing in the videos, those, those are there as well. And as assignments are posted, uh, the skeleton notebooks for those will also be uh, posted in the Jupyter Hub. And once you log in there, you'll be able to get to that uh, through your own Jupyter environment. Of course, you're welcome to make use of other resources, so you can set up your own uh, Jupyter Hub, say, on uh, on your local machine, or you can make use of Google Colab. Uh, either one is fine uh, to use. There's some extra complexities in setting those up. Uh, we're happy to talk to you about those as, as necessary. But uh, for this semester, our primary focus is going to be the uh, symbiotic computing Jupyter Hub that I have. We'll talk more about that in another video here soon. So what I'm assuming about uh, your capabilities coming into the class, first off, I'm making the assumption that everybody has a reasonable programming background. And in particular, uh, you all should have experience with object-oriented programming, not only in terms of using objects, but, but also creating new object classes. Uh, uh, you, you don't have to necessarily have that background in Python, but having... Uh, uh, some experience in Java or C++ uh, will give you the, the key ideas there. Uh, but certainly having Python uh, is, is certainly a bonus here. We'll actually spend the, the first, uh, these first couple of weeks uh, talking a lot about Python, the some of the cool tools that Python brings to, to bear, uh, and we'll also be talking about how uh, data are, are handled uh, in Python as well. Uh, it's, so you, you'll get an opportunity to, to uh, learn those tools. Um, in addition, I have a link from the class website to a set of uh, other tutorials if you want more, uh, more of a discussion about uh, Python. I'm also making an assumption that, that everyone is coming in with uh, statistics in their background. So in particular, you should know what linear regression is, how it's used, and what it's optimizing when, when we're actually solving for the parameters of the linear model. Uh, and then over the course of this semester, we're going to be expanding that those ideas uh, much more broadly. Uh, in addition, I'm assuming that everybody has experience with hypothesis testing. And in particular, we, we need to be able to tell the difference between uh, different competing models uh, in, in terms of what their performance is. Uh, so, uh, uh, experience with things like t-tests are really important here. As far as resources go, there are lots of different things. These are all documented on the class website. Uh, the main class website is available here. It's also linked from uh, the Canvas page. Make sure that you're looking at the asynchronous version of the website, not the live version of the website. Uh, on Canvas, we'll be making use of the gradebook. Uh, as well as uh, posting announcements uh, there. Uh, for discussions, uh, we're not going to be using Canvas, but instead we'll be using Slack. There is an invitation to our 
Slack uh, page uh, on, uh, on the Canvas uh, syllabus uh, page. That particular invitation will expire within the next uh, week or two. So please get yourself set up on that now. Uh, for office hours, we'll be certainly holding those in person, but also in Gather Town. Gather Town is a uh, is a video conferencing setup that that has a, a very interesting spatial uh, component to it. Uh, there is an invitation to our Gather Town space from the uh, Canvas syllabus as well, uh, and that also has uh, a limited lifetime. So get yourself signed up there. Uh, when I or the TA are available, we will appear in room uh, seven. Uh, the first time you drop into Gather Town, uh, if you start walking north, you'll you'll find room seven relatively quickly. Just look for the machine learning room. Uh, the text that we're using is the hands-on machine learning uh, book. Uh, this is available from O'Reilly Media. Uh, and then uh, we'll also make use of lots of other resources. Uh, those will all be linked from the main course page or will be announced on campus. So grading uh, for this version of the class is entirely based on homework. Uh, there will be a total of 13 homework assignments, 12 primary plus a test assignment that goes out next week. Uh, uh, we'll be using these assignments to, to try out the different methods that we are exploring over the course of the semester, and we'll, playing, we'll be playing with lots of different kinds of data. Uh, if, as we're grading these, uh, we're looking for two things. One is success in solving the problems that we're giving you, and we're also looking at for cleanliness in the code that you're uh, providing. Uh, so in addition to code, you need to make sure that you're documenting your code appropriately. Do you have a, a late policy? You can be up to uh, one day late on turning in an assignment. That will cost you 10% of, uh, of the total grade. Uh, you can also be up to two days late, and that will cost you 20% uh, of the total grade. We're also implementing uh, Slack days, so you can turn in an assignment even later than two days, so up to three or four days late. Uh, still with a 20% policy, uh, sorry, uh, still with a 20% penalty, uh, uh, but you have at most two of these slack days that you can use over the course of the semester. So don't start out the semester relying on uh, using those slack days. Uh, there is no final exam at the end of the semester. However, with 13 assignments uh, over the course of the semester, you're going to be seeing a new assignment every week. So there's a lot to be done there. As far as proper ap academic conduct, uh, the homework assignments, uh, I expect uh, that work to be your own. Uh, you should not be communicating with other people in the class uh, about uh, solutions to the assignments. So either as a provider of solutions or as a receiver of, of solutions. Uh, you, of course, are welcome to have conversations with me or the TA in great detail about, about those solutions. That's fine. Uh, if you are in office hours, either in person or gather town, and there are multiple people there, the TA or I at some point might say, well, we really need to have a, a, a detailed conversation uh, individually rather than as a group. Um, but if we're, if we're present and you're asking questions about the homework assignments, the, um, that is uh, fine, even if there are other people from the class in, in the room. There's lots of code available out on the net. Uh, and over the last year, we've had this explosion of uh, what large language models can do for us. You're welcome to make use of these resources to understand uh, the semantics or the syntax of any of the Python tools that we're using. However, any code that you turn in uh, for, for that solves the, the homework assignments that I'm giving you needs to be your own work. Uh, so you should not ask uh, Google for an answer to a homework assignment, and you should not be asking chat GPT or uh, any of the other uh, uh, large language models for solutions to the homework assignments. General communication uh, amongst you students 
uh, is fine. So if you have questions about what we're asking for in a homework assignment, that that's a, a fine conversation to have. Or if you're trying to uh, under understand how certain kinds of Python tools work, those are fine uh, conversations to have. Um, but when it comes down to the solutions uh, to the homework assignments, that needs to be your own. And feel free to ask questions if if you uh, are not sh quite sure where the where the line is there. Um, there is more conversation about this in the syllabus, including some examples. So I encourage you to take a look at that. All right. So as far as being successful uh, over the course of the semester, first off, you need to make sure that you keep up with the schedule. So there will be new uh, videos and new homework assignments every week. And uh, once you get behind uh, in those, it's it's hard to get caught up again. Um, also, get used to reading the documentation. There's an awful lot out there. Uh, uh, the, there are lots of different tools we're going to be using, say, from Scikit-Learn, and that uh, that API is actually really well documented. So uh, do spend some time uh, looking at, uh, at those resources. Most of the assignments that we're going to give you can't be done in a single day. Uh, some of them will take multiple days to work out what the solution is, and a few of the assignments will also require um, multiple days of com computation in order of, uh, in order to complete them. So get started on your assignments uh, early. Uh, don't be deceived by the the first couple of assignments. Uh, make sure you're you're staying on top of things. There's also lots of advice out there on the net about how to code things up. Uh, a lot of the advice is is not of very high quality or it, it a lot of the advice is really wrong. Uh, so make sure that, uh, that that you're taking the time to understand what those resources are telling you and and how they might apply to our particular problems, but don't trust them outright. Uh, and finally, make sure you're asking lots of questions. So you have the ability to ask us in questions in Slack. You can send us email and you can come to office hours. Uh, and both I and our TA will be uh, willing to answer lots of questions. Okay, so as far as preparing for the next round of videos, uh, make sure you've looked at chapter one of the book. Uh, next, the next set of videos for the latter part of this week, uh, those will be in uh, that will get started on chapter two, and we will also spend some time talking about Jupyter, Python, and NumPy, and we will also talk about the uh, Jupyter Hub uh, compute setup that we have.